one on the way to attempt a beach launch. And there go the GPS telling me where to go. But yeah, we're on the way to a beach launch for you guys. An out of state launch, a little vacation launch. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Model Rocks 321 here in San Diego. We're gonna get off a quick beach launch of my vintage flying software model rocket. Had one of these when I was a kid. And we are going to go on the beach in San Diego. Model Rockets 321. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. Heading toward the water, coming back down, landing. And we just got it. First launch in San Diego at the beach. Looked like an antenna may have popped off. This is a vintage one here. Let's see what we got here. Antenna popped off, but we are looking good. First beach launch, My Rocks 321, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Use that discount code. We just got that launch off. We're gonna get a couple more of these off. And we have the launch commander here today, Marcy. Hi, hi. Say hi to Marcy, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do it again, right? <laughs> My Rocks 321. Model Rocks 321, guys. Hey, check out my flippers. Check out my flippers. <laughs> Alright, guys, Model Rocks 321 here. Be sure to follow on the YouTube channel. We're going to launch the Flying Saucer by Quest on the C60. On the C60, let the lifeguard go by. Going in five, four, three, Two, one. Going toward the water should come back a little and we're good. Oh, they stuck that landing and we got some cool surfers here in San Diego, California. There we go. Model Rockets 321. Model Rockets 321 on Instagram. Check it out. It's in the water. And there we have it guys. The UFO just landed on its legs. As intended. There we go. Hello. Hello. There we go. That was a pretty good launch, pretty good flight of this one. And we got some <laughs> had some surfers stop by and check it out. That was pretty nice. So we have one more, guys. We have one more. We're gonna go back to the classic Estes version. We're gonna do this one more time and we're gonna get out of here. This is Model Rock 321 in San Diego. Surfers even checking it out. Model Rock 321. All right, guys, here we go with the Vintage Flying Saucer one more time. This will be the final flight. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Use that discount code. And we are going to launch going in five, four, three, two, one. There we go, and he's coming down back kind of right near the other. This one landed upright. Pretty decent launch of the Vintage Flying Saucer right near the beach. And that is the final one of the day, guys. Model Rock 321. And we will see you guys a little bit later. Vintage flying saucer doing its thing. And we are out of here from San Diego. That was all we had for the day, guys. This is cool. This is a good one. Model Rock 321. Once again, use that Estes discount code. We have, um, the So Long Rocket came out. New release, go on and use that. Get that code, get the So Long Rocket. Put my discount code in there, IN underscore 321. And we are out as some geese fly over. Say bye, Marcy. Bye, you guys. I'm out of rockets, three, two, one. So, you just witnessed three flights while I was in San Diego on vacation. I am back home now in Arizona doing the debriefing. I was going to film it there, but you know, just when you're on vacation, you're moving about and moving around and doing stuff. So I just figured I'll do it here, bring everything back and do it here. So you saw three flights, you saw two of the vintage 
Estes Flying Saucer. I had one of these when I was really young. I got this when they first came out. Not this one. This is a I purchased this again, but I had one when I was really young in the 80s. And then this is a later, later version. This came out, I forget what year, by Quest. Probably in the mid 2000s, somewhere, somewhere around there, maybe. This is the Quest version of it. And there's a Century one. So they're really cool. I like these. They're good, like I said, park flyers. They're good for small flying fields. They fly on sea engines. Um, I flew these um, on the C60s. I wouldn't go any lower. I wouldn't use a B or anything. They have, you know, some kind of they're kind of draggy, so they were kind of definitely weather cocking into the breeze that was on there on, at the at the beach. So in this version, you turn and open, take the uh, engine out like that. I use my little tape, the vintage way to do this. But yeah, they flew really well. But um, those flights are not welcome. <laughs> By the state of California, I just want to tell you that um, there is really no launching in California without a permit and all this other jazz. I think you got to have something from the fire department, something from the park services. California is just a difficult place, I think, to do some stuff like on your own. I think you can be part of a club because they handle all that, but it's nowhere I want to live because I couldn't do what I'm doing now. Like you can just go here and fly, you know, just. Be smart about it. I think that's part of it. I think you got too many people that could have ruined it, or that could be just the way California is. But on Facebook the other day, I believe it's on Estes' account, I saw a sign that says "No firing rockets" or something like that. It was an official like state sign at the entrance to a, to a park, so it definitely has a negative stain on rocketry. It seems in the state of California. I don't know what that is. That needs to change. I mean, you know, if you play it smart and there's there, there's no if it's like not dry brush around and you do it correctly, you know, it's it's a safe, safe hobby. Like, I just don't get it. And um, I said I didn't care. I went for it anyway and I flew my three. I was on the beach. I knew, I kind of knew what they were going to do. I knew they were going to arc into the wind, towards the water. It was good. Perfect day. Some people even enjoyed it. Came by and stopped by to talk for a little bit. So I went on and I launched um, my flying saucers. These are, these are the three spent motors. I flew my three as you just saw. I went and did my thing. Because um, if I didn't do it, I wouldn't be talking to you guys about this right now. And I wanted to get the mission accomplished. So I went and I did it. It was a perfectly safe situation. I made sure people weren't, you know, everybody's either facing it or going away if I knew it was far away. You know, it's just got to go do it, man. Got to go do it. But yeah, the state of California, I think that they, um, they're kind of hard with a lot of stuff. A lot of things. I never lived there. I lived there before. I'll never live there again. <laughs> I'll never live there again. But anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, that was fun. So it's my first time launching on the beach and first time launching out of state in many, many years. I, you know, I grew up in some different, I mean, yeah, I grew up back east, so I flew in a few states on these coasts. But, you know, this is the first one in a little while, launching launching while on vacation. So I made, you know, I packed some stuff up, took it, and we did what we did. So it's Model Rock 321. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thumb up the video. Drop a comment. What do you think about what I was just talking about as far as California? When it comes to flying model rockets and being, you know, I think a little too overprotective. Wow, they're just model rockets, like especially on the beach. You know, it's like, I, I kind of get it and then I don't get it. It's like, I always want to look and say, okay, well, what if this? But then, you know, I'm not going to do I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, guys, model rockets, 321, subscribe to the channel, use the discount code, and we out of here.